everybody. So this is my breakfast. It's the same as normal. I have my coffee, my water, and one grumpy little baby over here. Honey, it's okay. He just wants me to pick him up. But I just had to make my breakfast real quick. Honey, it's okay, sweetheart. So I'm going to pick him up and attempt to eat my breakfast. Okay, so I put him in his... I tried to hold him while I ate and it wasn't working out. I couldn't eat with one hand. So I put him in his high chair instead and he's been calm and just watching me and then turning and watching Thomas the Train. So, whew, you were getting a little crazy there, huh? You like got in his mind that he wanted to be picked up and he was not gonna stop screaming until that happened, huh? So my mom just went to go drop my stepdad off at work and I just need to go and change my outfit because I'm wearing like a big t-shirt and boxers and I need to go change my outfit and then we're going to go to Marshall's and Home Goods. It's like a Marshall's slash Home Goods. Yeah, you want to go? I haven't been guys in like a year and he used to go like seriously every single day almost when I lived here. But I haven't been in like a year and I need to stock up on like my deodorant because I usually get my deodorant from there and um, just stuff like that. If the quality is a little different, it's because I'm filming with my iPhone right now because my um, camera battery is charging for so it'll be ready for home goods. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys um, because I do get a lot of questions on like what bottles I use and William is breastfed but occasionally he does take a bottle like I'll pump some milk for him or sometimes like if I want to have a glass of wine and I don't have any pumped milk I'll use a little bit of formula but mostly he is breastfed so I tend to go after bottles that say that they're an easy transition from breastfeeding to bottle so originally when I first had Will I got the Dr. Brown's bottles because that's what like everyone recommended and I mean they were okay but honestly if you've ever used them there's so many parts so many parts it's like ridiculous and it sounds like a great idea I feel like until you have a baby and then you're washing those parts and you're like okay no I can't do this so then I wanted to get a different bottle so then I went and got these Tommy Tippy bottles because I I don't know it was just like a name I recognized from Walmart but my issue with this bottle is, please tell me in the comments if you had this issue or if it's just me. So, like, I don't know if air gets stuck in here or what, but every time William tries to feed from this bottle, he has the hardest time and he'll get so frustrated and then I'll think he's getting milk and, like, say I filled it with six ounces, then I'll, he'll be, like, drinking it for, like, 30 minutes and I'll think he's getting some and then I'll notice and there's still five ounces in there. So, I don't know, like, I've tried having him, like, suck on this part and then suck just on this part and then part of me thinks it's maybe like from this little air hole because sometimes he'll be like halfway through drinking out of it and I have to like open the lid and let like the air release and then close it and have him continue so not a fan of this so this is the bottle that we've been using now I only have one of this bottle because I like went hard and bought like an eight pack of these and don't even like them I only have one of this bottle and it's the flipsy baby and it's just it's really neat first off like look at this this is silicone and then it's got like the harder shell right here and it's designed it's another one that's designed to make transitioning from breastfeeding to bottle easier but I really really like it he doesn't have like any issues with air getting stuck in it and also it's so easy to clean I just cleaned this one that's why you can see water droplets um, and I just put it back together before drying it so I could show you guys but like it turns inside out so I'll put a clip of me cleaning it it flips flips <laughs> inside out for a super easy cleaning and I don't know I just really like this bottle I don't have any complaints so let me know if you guys had the same issues that I had with the previous bottles if you are looking for a new bottle um, this is one that I recommend it's the flipsy baby I am gonna see if I can get some more of these for William to have because right now anytime he wants a bottle I just go and wash this one <laughs> are you ready to go to Marshall's we I need to look online to find the best convertible car seat because as you can see he's like completely outgrowing this one and I read somewhere that like once they're like an inch from the top you should switch them and he's like a little more than an inch away from the top 
and I just feel like he's getting kind of close to the weight limit too and obviously he looks like he's like taking up the whole thing but the good thing is that we did our like babies R Us we registered at Babies R Us for our baby registry and like with that you get um, rewards back so we actually got a gift card for like $150 for Babies R Us but as most of you know they're going out of business so all they're only taking gift cards until April 14th so I need to hurry up and figure out what car seat I want so I can use that $150 towards it and I know a lot of people recommended the Graco forever maybe but I just need to do a little more um, research on like safety and stuff until I can make sure I'm like completely comfortable with my purchase so yeah you're gonna get a new car seat soon I'm the most paranoid mom in the universe and we forgot his stroller so we had to put him in this cart and he keeps touching it so I'm going through with a wipe and cleaning out every little circle is that funny uh, you making your mommy crazy <laughs> You think that's funny? That mommy's cleaning everything because she's paranoid? Stop touching that. Stop touching that. <laughs> Stop touching that. Also, for everybody, when I posted online about how I really liked the Steve Madden shoes and everyone mm -hmm. told me to go to Marshall's, mm -hmm. they are here and they're $34.99 instead of the $60 that they are at the mall. Okay, I've tried this Schmitz deodorant before and I did not like it. It was super dry, like I couldn't even get it on me. But my favorite is this Nature Lab and it really works and it's natural. And I normally get the lavender one, but they don't have the lavender. So they have two different um, labels, so they look like this or this. Okay, so this is the one I'm gonna get. As you can see, it's aluminum free, paraben free. These are the ingredients. But I always put it at Marshall's and Nature Love. That's the brand that I absolutely like. I haven't found any that I like as much as this one. So I'm just sitting here in the shoe section on one of these little benches, just nursing him because he was fussing and I think he wants to take a nap, but he also needed to eat something. Look at these chunky little thighs. Look at these chunky little thighs. And his little toesies. Look at these Betsy Johnson purses. What? Grandma's holding William because he's being a little fuss by. So we're taking turns because he's heavy. And my arm gets tired holding him. <laughs> William! William! Hi, buddy! Hi! So we just left um, Marshall's and this little guy is so sleepy. He got a new toy when we were in there. Grandma bought him this and you like pull it and it moves it. So he was really liking that except he didn't realize that you could pull it to do that. So he was just like hitting it to make them move. And then he started crying the second we got in the car and we've been in the car maybe like two minutes now and he's already knocked out. So he was really sleepy. I just made Will a bottle and I realized I never showed you guys the box so I wanted to show you so here is Flipsy Baby and it says feeding bottle natural shaped silicone feeding bottle flips inside out for cleaning and it shows you exactly how it flips inside out and then here is everything all the chemicals that it is free of 
And it also has some really good information on the side of the bottle. So FDA food grade silicone is dye and colorant free. Only silicone touches the liquid. Silicone is naturally non-toxic and hypoallergenic. But what I wanted to show you guys is how to use the bottle. So when I first got it in the mail, I was just using it like a typical bottle. And I think I was using it completely wrong because it's like a really unique design as you can see. So how you're supposed to use it is this is supposed to collapse during feeding to help like get the air out. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to push the air out before the feeding like so. And this minimizes air to help like your baby so your baby doesn't get gassy or doesn't have colic. But it also reduces air bubbles to help slow any milk oxidation. So you're supposed to push it out like so. And then it also will collapse while they're feeding so that they don't get any gas in their bellies. So yeah, this is the Flipsy bottle. I just wanted to show you guys I absolutely Love this bottle. The company did send it to me for free, so I did want to make that clear, but I don't have to say anything good about it or anything like that. I just really, really like it. It's the first bottle that I haven't had like an issue with, and William just takes really well to it. He hasn't had any issues, and he seems to get the milk out really easily, and it just, it works really well for us, so I'll have them linked down below if you're interested. Going on a walk. What are you doing down there, bud? It is so nice out. Hi, Becky. So, um, it is like 2.45, 2.40, and we are going on a walk. We have to get my youngest sister from the bus stop at 3.15. So, that gives us about... 30 minutes to walk before coming, um, going back towards the bus stop area to pick her up. And yeah, it's like a beautiful day outside. Okay, just picked up Callie from the bus stop. Say hi, Callie. Hi. That's Aunt Callie. And then little William is in here. We took a nice long walk and he's been so good. Okay guys, so right now I'm cleaning some of his toys. I always clean his toys if they're new. So my mom just got him this from Target. So I just cleaned all those. And then this one, um, he had dropped uh, like on the ground a bunch of times and it's been a, like a few days since I cleaned it. So I'm just cleaning this toy. He loves this little book from Target. And then also we got these like uh, little books from Marshalls today that I'm just gonna wipe down with like a slightly soapy cloth and then a wet cloth to remove the soap. Oh, <laughs> that's William in the background. Um, but yeah, so I'm just cleaning these. I just like to clean everything, you know, every so often to make sure that there's no dirt, grime, germs, all that good stuff on it. Look how sweet this is. <laughs> Uncle Christian loves you. I had him in there so I could make dinner and I looked over and Uncle Christian was holding you. Mm -hmm. He loves you. Okay, so my mom works, my mom and my stepdad work late tonight so I said I would make dinner for me and the kiddos. So I'm just gonna make pasta with sauce and meatballs. Very standard in this house because we have some picky eaters. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know normally I add like spinach, green peppers, onions, tons of stuff. But um, I'm just going to do 
pretty basic or no one will eat it. <laughs> so this is all there's gonna be and then I'm sure I'll add some cheese or something. look how neat this um, strainer is so like at my apartment we only have like the kind of strainer that you have to hold and sometimes it's hard because it's like you can't do it one-handed or you'll burn yourself or I have to have James like hold the strainer while I dump the water but maybe this is something that like everybody else has and I just don't know it but this is so neat like you just put it like this and it sits itself there so you can drain the pasta and you don't have to have one hand holding it and one hand holding the hot pot Okay, so we got noodles. This is like, I think it's called the Farfell? Maybe. I don't know. It's like the ones with little bow ties. And then I have the sauce going over here. I added some Parmesan and cheese and meatballs and then like some onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and basil. And dinner is served.